So there's a folder here for other which are uh, SS free counts and solids but you really uh, don't need to worry about this folder and just work with the first three. So let's go inside the, the first folder here opener and uh, drop down this folder and here you can see we have a holders folder and a render folder alright. So inside the render folder there will be a, an opener comp and if I double click this this will be the composition that will uh, pop up. And uh, let's go ahead and let's start uh, changing some of these folders and I will set the resolution to maybe third just so it loads faster and uh, will speed up this uh, tutorial. Alright, so let's choose a frame here and let's go inside folders and see what we have here. Uh, under folders we have a media and a text folder and uh, for media we have uh, nine media holders so this will be the holders where you will place your images or videos so for example let's start with the beginning of our uh, composition here and uh, here we will have media holder 1 and 2 and uh, before I replace these uh, medias let's actually import our uh, files and here I have a folder with a bunch of uh, stock photos which I will be using uh, I will be using as an example so I'm just gonna grab all these and just simply drag them inside this project here this will import all of our files right so if I step inside media holder 1 for example here you will have a folder pre comp layer, go ahead, grab this layer and press delete and then simply drag and drop your imported media inside the, uh, the composition or the timeline over here. Uh, Alright, so here you can uh, select your layer, do some adjustments and if I go back inside my uh, opener comp, so my render comp, you can also access it by pressing double, by, uh, double uh, clicking this uh, comp here. Right, so you can see it updating here and basically you go through all of these and you do the same thing grab the layer delete drop your uh, new layer and if you go inside opener you can see them updated all right so uh, just scroll through your timeline and start changing all of these uh, in order and uh, you can go ahead and even uh, place your uh, footage or uh, photo uh, on top of the holder pre-comp uh, and you can see that if you go back this will update so you will have to go through all of these nine uh, media holders to edit um, there will also be you can also change for example if I choose this frame you can see that there are two text um, text elements here all right and you can also change these and these are also in order of appearance so end title will be the title at the end and we will take a look uh, about that in a second so text holder one you can go ahead and uh, change the text here so let's see different headline and you will need to rearrange and reformat your text accordingly and there's another uh, text for this uh, paragraph here and you can see that if I select this uh, second layer so the paragraph and press U there is some uh, keyframe information which animates the text so if you want to keep this animation you will need to double click this text and edit it like so uh, if you choose so alright so just keep in mind uh, that you have to edit the existing text and not delete the layer and make a new text layer. Alright, so now if I go back, let's take a look. Take a look at the frame here. Alright, so here we can see it updating, different headline, and uh, basically all of these are exactly the same. 
right so after you change these you can go to your uh, ending frame here and where it says world news to change this you will need to access the end title column so let's click this guy and here you can simply uh, choose whatever text you want so uh, let's check this all right here you can see it and of course you can use whatever font you want and um, if you take a look this layer for the end title has a ramp applied to it and you can uh, either uh, choose to keep this or disable this uh, you can also use a logo here so it works with everything you put inside this uh, composition here right so that's for opener and uh, that's about it for opener so let's go uh, to transition now for transition we have our render composition and this will be the comp that you will render uh, you can see here that uh, we have uh, transparency enabled so when you render this make sure you render with uh, alpha transparency and I'll show you how to do that in a second and the only thing you will uh, need to edit this is with the transition holder so double click here and again you can choose whatever uh, whatever text you want here or format the existing uh, text and this will update in the composition and this also works with uh, logos of course Alright, that's it for transition and uh, let's see, the way you render this is when you make, when you go to make your uh, pre-render, right, so you select the area you, you want to render, go to composition, pre-render, inside custom AV here, make sure that you choose a format which enables you to output both RGB and alpha channels, so if you, uh, by default this will be on RGB and you will have to choose either uh, AV and this will give you a RGB plus alpha uh, option, right? And then hit OK and export your video like that. Right, and uh, finally we have our tree background and here we just have a simple uh, background render. So this will be the uh, composition that you will render, simply background, right? Double click this and inside the settings here you will see that... Uh, Oh, actually, I've uh, forgot to talk about the settings. All right, so let's go back to our uh, opener real fast. Uh, so the way you change your colors is you go inside the composition, and each composition that you render will have a settings layer. All right, so if you go inside the effects control here at the top, and if you don't have this window showing up, you press F3. This will bring up the effects controls, and uh, this will give you a bunch of options for your uh, for your colors. All right, so let's start with uh, geometry highlight. And let's choose another frame here. All right, so geometry highlight will be this uh, highlight on these cubes, and you can change the color for this. You can see as I scroll how that changes. All right, and geometry color will be a tint which you can uh, give to the geometry itself. And uh, for example, if the color is too strong, you can just increase the geometry tint. All right, and this will uh, desaturate the, the color, and uh, you can um, control the color more easily, like so. Set this back to original values. Background number one will be the background in the here in the back, you can change this and see what effects. Alright, background 2 will be the elements on top of the solid color for the background, which you can see here. Flares will be, let's take a look at another frame. Flares will be these uh, flares here, and so change the color for that. Uh, guidelines, let's see this. Alright. Uh, dots, more uh, UI graphics which you can change individually, media holders will be these uh, elements on top of your uh, footage or uh, videos, and uh, wave 1 and 2 will be this wave here at the uh, end, the transition towards the title, so let's change the color for this, you can also affect this as well, and uh, second color for the wave also affect that and the end title of course will be the title here which you can also affect the color for all right so uh, let's uh, check out the transition the transition uh, colors and the background colors are pretty much the same so inside the transition you can see we have a settings layer which you can of course change the color
color for all of these as well. Give it a second to update. Let's change this to third resolution and uh, let's see. Alright, so you can see here the geometry highlight changing and uh, the rest of the colors are the same. The only thing uh, extra here will be that you can uh, adjust the position of this flare. So you have a vertical and horizontal position and if you change these values you can see how the flare moves and uh, this is this will be depending on what type of uh, text you want to use. Alright, so you can also control that. And for our background we have the same uh, settings as our other ones. So you can change the, the geometry for example. Give a second. Alright, and then so on, exactly the same as the others. Alright, so that's about it for our uh, 3D graphics and uh, in the next video I'll cover 2D graphics. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.